Hey everyone, I'm Paul Parmelo. Thank you for joining me on another one of my videos. When doing maintenance, the owner's manual usually will tell you when to do it. For example, in a car, they'll say, change the oil at a certain mileage. You know when that mileage is going to be there because you have an odometer. But when it comes to small engines, like this Honda HRN 216, the manuals will now tell you to do it in hours. So for instance, change the oil at five hours. But how do you know when five hours of use has happened? Well, they have hour meters. These things are cheap. They're made by all different types of companies. They come with also different features. This one has a built-in tachometer on it, which I like to use. The lead wraps around the spark plug lead here, and I'm going to just feed the wiring through the left side because the right side has the hot exhaust. And I'm going to place it on the back of the top cover. I want to do that because I want to be able to see the RPMs while I'm operating this mower. So the first thing to do, I'm going to take off this top cover. Now, I've already made a video on how to do that. If you haven't seen it, you can click on the information button at the top, or I'll also leave a link in the description box below. So let's get started first. The instructions for the hour meter says to take the lead and wrap it around your spark plug wire about five times. So I'm going to disconnect the plug from the spark plug and I'm going to use uh, some zip ties and I'll put the first zip tie at the beginning when I start the winding and then after five or so winds I'll put the second zip tie there. Now I'll just feed the wiring underneath and secure it along the way to the very back of the machine. Since I have to get the camera into this angle, this red cover is going to get in my way. So as an added bonus, what I do is I simply remove the string from the hook, feed it through the little hole, and totally remove the cover altogether. And as an extra bonus, what you can do is you can remove the fuel cap by simply sliding it through this little groove here, and then you can put it right on the tank without using the cover. So when this is all done, this hour meter will be attached to the top cover, and I'm gonna use Velcro on it because I don't want to drill holes in the red cover to use the uh, screw holes on the meter. And it comes with a piece of Velcro that you can attach to the bottom, and it already has a hole cut out in it so you can have access to the battery. And this way, if ever I have to remove the red cover again, well, I can just unconnect this from the cover and leave it hanging down at the bottom. All of this extra wire, I'm just going to coil up and connect down here. Um, there doesn't seem to be an access for me to connect it to, so I'm going to use a long tie wrap, feed it through the bracket for the fuel tank, and when I tie it together, it will leave a nice little hanger here that I can attach the coil of wire to. So let's bring this outside and try it out. What? 
Well, it seems to work great. You can see that the hours are up all the time. Once the engine runs, it'll switch over to the tack, and then when you shut off the motor, it will flip back to the hours. The Honda dealer where I bought this machine says that they try to get it to run about 3000 RPM, which is confirmed by this meter. And now that I have an hour meter on it, I can do my oil change according to the manual and I know I will be covered under warranty. So thank you very much for joining me on another one of my videos. Be safe and I'll see you next time.